We are at Kofa Wildlife Preserve. There's 14 day boondocking out here. Awesome mountains right there. It looks like you could reach out and touch them. Got this. So we're here. Uh, Next no. Uh-oh. Max is yelling at him. Max is trying to get into uh, a jumping choya cactus. Don't get into the jumping choya cactus. I don't know, he's shaking it off a little. But this one, we're here mainly because of my parents. Years ago, uh, they were full-time RVing, and they came out here. There's a place called Palm Canyon, where there's palm trees, you know, growing up in this canyon, where normally there's not any palm trees. You can see it's all desert out here. It's mostly uh, jumping choya and stuff like that. But uh, we're going to hopefully be able to take a hike and go see that tomorrow before we head on over to uh, California. What do you think, baby? It's gorgeous. I can't wait to wake up in the morning, look out our window and see those mountains behind us. That's what I keep thinking. Yeah, that'd be a nice place to have some coffee, huh? Mm-hmm. Maybe we should go back and get our old jobs and go live in a house. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get set up here before it gets dark and we'll catch up with you in the morning. Oh my goodness, you guys. Um, I think it's like maybe seven in the morning or something out here, sort of between Quartzsite and Yuma, Arizona. We just got done with the big tent show and all that up in Quartzsite, and now we found a beautiful boondocking spot. This is one that um, my parents have been telling us about for years and years and years. Back when they used to travel, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 years ago, they went to Palm Canyon in Arizona. It's just about 20 miles, 25 miles south of Quartzsite on 95. We are in a beautiful boondocking spot. Check this out. Let me just pan around there. Look at over here. Look at that. Look at that sky. I think Palm Canyon's right up in there. So we're gonna go try and hike that later today. Look at that, look at that sunrise. Those beautiful clouds this morning. So we're pretty well all alone out here. Well, we're not all alone. Way over there, there's camp post. And then every several hundred yards, maybe there's somebody, but there's plenty of room uh, to get off by yourself. We haven't made it down to the end of this road down here. We're gonna drive down there with the camper today and hopefully there's a spot to turn around. Right up in those rocks up there, uh, we think is the Palm Canyon where there's supposedly palm trees in there. We've really enjoyed our time here. We wish we could stay longer. I could probably spend weeks out here. Just beautiful. But we got to head to California. First time with the RV, first time driving there. We're going to go to Palm Springs to the Thousand Trails Resort there. Uh, so that'll be really cool. And then we're hoping to go up and hike Joshua Tree a little bit as well. We're going to get some breakfast. Get... Uh, Phones and everything charged up, run the generator a little bit, and then we're gonna get ready to go for a hike in Palm Canyon and retrace the footsteps of my parents from all those years ago.
we are getting ready to pull out of our spot here in Kofa Wildlife Refuge. And it has been a fantastic spot. It's so quiet out here at night. We've really enjoyed it. I wish we had more than two nights to stay. But we're getting ready to go hike up into the canyon, which is behind me, up into those mountains over there. So James is back there trying to find the best way out of our spot. The, all alongside this road, they have walls built up. And so you have to find the, the best ways in without having to climb over this great big wall. But here we go, we're gonna go on a hike. <laughs> that wall that little ledge that follows the road I don't know how good you can see it but this is what you kind of have to find your spots and the best way over this wall it's just like a little ditch I don't think a wall is the right word all right guys so the road coming in here is pretty bumpy drill washboard you got to be careful of that just take it slow and you'll be fine though don't leave anything on the counter trailhead is about four miles up the road from our campsite and so we're driving to the trailhead with the camper we don't really know exactly what it is we're driving into we're hoping there's a turnaround place as we get further up here Guys, there's awesome spots here. I mean, we're right up against these hills and the mountains, and uh, there's people camped right here. There's supposed to be a bunch of mountain sheep here, too. That would be the coolest thing ever. Be sitting outside your rig and see mountain sheep climbing around, that'd be awesome. Yeah, it goes right up to it. What's the question? Are we going to be able to turn around? If not, we can back up a couple of miles. You're just, you're just going to have to hike a couple of miles to guide me. <laughs> you guys check this spot out. Look at this. Let's go right here. Right up under the hills. And this is free camping. Free camping here. We live in a great country. So we we're almost at the base of this mountain here and uh, we just flagged down a truck that was coming out, a pickup truck, and he rolls down his window and he starts laughing and he said, yes, you can. He knew what we wanted to know. Can we turn this trailer around? Because each spot we're passing by and there, man, there are some awesome spots out here. I mean, it's like, like magazine stuff out here. It's what dreams are made of if you're into full-time RVing. I keep looking at each spot we're passing and going, 
okay, I can back up to that when I drive far enough and say, okay, I can back up a half mile of that if I need to. And then we see another spot. Okay, we can go a little farther. So we come to a spot and we look like we're about to drive into the mountain. I'm going to show you that here in a second. But I'm like, I don't know. I don't see any other campers up here. Maybe just a little one or a couple cars. Uh, but apparently there is a place to turn around. It's a little tight. We'll check it out and we'll show it to you. So I hope you can tell by the video how close we are. Look at this. We're about to drive right up this mountain, it looks like. Yeah, check out this camping spot. Look at that. Woo! Go 10 miles off road and break your truck. Yeah, you guys all right? Okay. Well, there is a turnaround place. This yeah, is look amazing. At all this turn here. Lots of room. Now, if there was a couple rigs in here, it could get tight, but if everybody worked together, you'd be fine. Ah, uh, so amazing. Wow. Wow. I think I'm going to put my coat up. Yeah, it's cold here in the shade. shade yeah. All right, y'all, look. Right up here by the mountain. Looks like you can hike back in there and tent camp. All right guys, so this is actually an awesome story right here. We are here and we know about Palm Canyon because my parents, when they were full-time and back in 2007 came here and they were just blown away by it. They kept telling us about it and we've been wanting to get here uh, for all these years that we've been traveling. We're finally here and this trail that we're about to hike is a National Recreation Trail. And my dad is responsible for this trail being a National Recreation Trail. Kinda. So, what happened was, when they were up here boondocking, the guys came to install this sign, and they had a drill, but it wasn't a cordless drill, and they didn't have a generator. And so my dad let them use his generator to screw these uh, signs onto the post. So, he's kind of responsible for this actually being a national trail for us all to hike now. So look here guys, these little brown pellets that Max is so interested in. We're fairly certain that's a bighorn sheep um, poop. Looks like they bed down up here, it's really cool, look at this. You can see on the side of these cliffs it's kind of chewed out. And it looks like the bighorn sheep have been laying around up in here. So Autumn is nature journaling and drawing. We'll let Kim tell you more about that. This is a heck of a classroom right here. All right, y'all, there are palms in Palm Canyon. We're uh, very far up into Palm Canyon and we haven't seen the first palm tree yet. How far are we? 0.7 miles. Yeah, and now, what do we see, Autumn? Palm, palm tree, palm trees! Palm trees! All right, look, we'll show you. 
Palm trees, there they are. Right there. A palm tree Be like a spiral staircase? Say that again? Do you think a goat could walk up a palm tree like a spiral staircase? I don't know. I mean, they should because Probably palm so. trees have those like little... But shh. Very, very quiet for Kimberly is hunting big horn sheep. Be very, very quiet. I'm on weapons. Weapons. I'm not seeing any of these palm trees you're talking about. Where do you think they could be? I don't know. Uh, hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, palm, palm trees. trees. <laughs> there they are. Palm trees, sure enough. Long way away. These palm trees are a long ways away. So far, I would say if you're coming to Palm Canyon for the palm trees, not necessarily just go to like any of the Walmarts in Arizona and you'll see a palm tree in their, you know, parking lot or something. But this place is mind-blowingly beautiful. And it's not going to do it justice on camera. This place is awesome. Mind-blowingly beautiful and it has very little to do with the palm trees in my opinion. What do you think about that? It's beautiful. Definitely worth the hike. What do you think of the palm trees? <laughs> it's interesting. It is interesting how they got there. How'd they get there? I don't know. <laughs> how, how, Autumn? I don't know. How did the palm trees get there, Autumn? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I believe yeah. she said magical palm tree fairies. <laughs> That's awesome. California. Amazing. You guys ready to go to California? Ready. All right, y'all. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this. Hit the thumbs up, share them with your friends. We'll catch up with you in California.